Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to be reacting to Miracles of Print by Mufti Mek. Guys, one thing I can say about Mufti Mek is that he don't really have to be a Muslim to enjoy his teaching. Like, he teaches based on life and based on religion. But he focuses on Islam, but like, you can take the message. Like, the message is something you can take, you can impact into your life, and it will work for you. Guys, let's get straight into this. I want to share with you something you may not have realized. You see, the World Cup happened recently, right? Yes. They had their way of showing what Islam is all about, what the culture is all about, and so on, which was a good thing. Part of it was that so many people were exposed to the Adhan. What is the Adhan? It's the call to prayer. How many times is it called? It's called five times a day. And then you get to the masjid, which is the, the prayer place. And then just before the imam starts, there is an almost repetition of the words of the adhan in something known as iqama, which means just when the imam is about to commence, they say those words again. Those words, one brother asks, what exactly does it mean? Because he says, we hear melodious adhan. I'm sure all of us, we recognize Makkah adhan, beautiful adhan. We're all attracted to beautiful adhan. Everyone, even the non-Muslims, by the way. When they hear the adhan, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. It just rings, not just in the ears, but the heart, the soul is moved. Do you know what you're saying? So one brother asks, what is this? What does it mean? I want to know the exact meaning. Do you know what it means? Maybe you haven't realized. What's the meaning of Allahu Akbar? Can someone say it to me? Allah is the greatest, right? In actual fact, if you look at the Arabic language, the term Akbar is superlative. It refers to greater. Greater. We, to make it easy, we just say Allah is the greatest, meaning greater than everything. But if you look at those words, the exact meaning is Allah is greater. Because if you were to say Allahul Akbar, it is the greatest. But without the l in the middle, if you say Allahu Akbar, which is what it is, it means Allah is greater. Allah is greater. So we're actually, you know, saying out loudly, Allah is greater. Greater than what? Well, you're calling me towards prayer and you're saying to me at the beginning of the call to prayer, Allah is greater than whatever you're doing. Allah is greater than anything you're going through right now. Allah is greater than your business that you might be busy with right now. Allah is greater than the family and whatever you might be busy with right now. So therefore drop everything and come and pray now. How's that? Allah is greater than your matters. Allah is greater than the, whatever you think you're going through right now. It's the time for prayer, so come through. Listen to the rest of the words. I'm going to go through them very quickly without saying them in the Arabic, but just translating and explaining. Allah is greater than anything you're doing right now, so drop it and come to prayer. First thing is Allahu Akbar. Then you say, I bear witness that Allah, there is none worthy of worship besides Him, besides Allah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. So if you really bear witness that there is none worthy of worship besides Allah, you will believe that Allah is greater than your issue. You stop whatever you're doing and you go to pray and come back. And if you believe there is none worthy of worship besides Allah, you believe that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, brought the message of Allah to you, then you will also immediately believe Allah is greater than whatever I'm doing right now. Drop it and go and pray. See? And thereafter, what do we say? Come to pray. Hayya ala salah. Come to pray. Come to pray. Allah is greater. Come to success, the ultimate success. It might not be exactly as you think or I think. It might not be exactly what I want, but I know ultimately, if I have this particular thing in my life, I will succeed. I ask you today, what is true success? Tell me. 
If I have the whole world, but I don't have the connection with Allah, have I succeeded? You answer it. If I have nothing or very little, but I have a beautiful connection with my maker, he gives me contentment. He gives me contentment. It's a condition within you of the heart, the soul, the mind, the body put together and content. And he gives me the success of the hereafter, which is eternal. So even if I don't have much, I have got something that is considered success. And that's why immediately after saying the call to success, you know, come to prayer, come to success. We repeat again immediately after that, Allah is greater. Allah is greater. Indeed, there is none worthy of worship besides him. That's the call to prayer. If it has been made mandatory for us to call the call to prayer five times a day, do you really think there can be anything more powerful? Five times a day, you're being told Allah is greater. Don't forget that. I'm busy sleeping early morning for Fajr. I said this in Jumu'ah today. I'm busy sleeping early morning for Fajr. It's not so easy because we've had a late night. And you know what? It's been difficult and whatever else. I tell you what, Allah is greater. Think of the meaning of it. Allahu Akbar. Greater than what? Greater than your sleep. Get up. Oh, I need to have a shower. And it's Allah is greater than what? The feeling that you have right now. Subhanallah. Allah is greater than your problems. Some people, when they have problems, they become stressed. Human beings, we would get a bit depressed sometimes. We feel a little bit low sometimes. We don't want to talk to people sometimes. We don't want to interact. We don't want to eat sometimes. I tell you what, Allah is greater than what? Whatever you're going through right now, just get up and push yourself. Why? There's success. Success. The Lord of the worlds is telling you, come to success. I want to succeed. I'm not, I, I will know if that Lord of the worlds has not allowed me to have something, I will consider it part of my success, even though I wanted it. The fact that he blocked it is part of my success. Why? Because I believed in his call, come to success, and I worked on my prayer, and I prayed five times a day. So this evening I want to say, no matter what you're going through, your struggles, no matter what it is, please work on your prayer. If you're not praying at all, at least start. If you're praying some and not others, do better. You can. If you feel, I'm so weak, I'm so far, that's shaitan. Allah will give you the strength. Allah is closer than you think he is. Don't give up. Don't give up no matter what. Yeah, this is amazing. Like him saying this really makes me understand that God's greater my problems and he should be put first because based on what I believe in, I believe that God should come first before any other thing. Like God should be your number one and utmost priority. And you shouldn't be worried because you have God. Like you being worried is you like subconsciously so telling yourself that you want to do it yourself but we have a greater force which you have to do with that's good we're supposed to leave it for god because in different places like it's a case of care for me for i care for you like god said if god said bring your problems to me in prayer and supplication and with thanksgiving and i will answer them and I, a lot of things were going through my head when he was saying that I have issues and I believe and I pray that when after this I have to pray to God and surrender everything to him because I believe he's going to make me pass through it. Like he's gonna take me to the next phase of my life. Okay, I think what you think about this video, tell me how it impacted in your life. I think what you think about that. Guys, I'll see you next time, guys, Chris.